Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another video. This is the third of three videos uh, that was requested. It was a paid request from Total Meltdown 2. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or reactions, topics, randomness, whatever it may be, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, again, uh, this I did this is from 14 or so years ago. IGSRJ. I don't even know what that means. I don't. I kind of wonder now, like I said before, maybe this is supposed to be a parody of Adrian Video Game Nerd, but now this might be more of a parody of Irate Gamer. Because I forgot about Irate Gamer. I completely forgot about that day. That, that guy. That day. I forgot about that day. That day thing with the day, day, day. Day, 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 day. day. I forgot about that guy, that day, that day, and that guy. Uh, nothing wrong with being gay. That guy ain't gay. And that guy ain't a guy either. <laughs> Our gamer is a bitch, but so he's neither. He's neither gay or a guy. He's a bitch. He's a fucking stealing bitch. But anyway, so if it's on I rate gamer, I barely remember. Like I didn't remember until, it, like, just popped in there. Like, oh, that's right. So maybe that's what this is a, a parody on that guy's reviews. If that's the case, okay, I can understand a bit more. But this one, I guess, is on Batman NES, which is a good game. So I guess, because, yeah, Ari Gamer did review Super Mario Bros. 2, which was a good game, but he said it was awful. And be like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? So maybe that's what this is a parody. Again, it's like 14 years ago, so forgive me if hard to remember what the joke was 14 years ago. After playing a game as bad as Super Mario Bros. 3 in a previous review, I really don't know where to go with this video. I am in a state of shock, so I have decided to just pick a game at random. River City Ransom. Alright, this game is bad, but not nearly as bad as Super Mario Bros. 3, so there is only one. So yeah, it is clearly a parody, so... That must be what Dude Nukem... I didn't... I didn't know. I even said it might be a bit more... It's, it's more understandable now the more I watch. One thing left to do. Pop this video game in and play that game. Not knowing how to put it in. Like Irie Gamer. It does not work. This game was released in 19. Now who the hell can that be? I have no friends. Hello? Riddle me this, you fucking noob. What? Who's this? What does the Batman NES game and a Hoover vacuum shoved up your ass have in common? I don't know. I don't own that piece of fuck game. Goddamn asshole. <laughs> Go out and look in your mailbox. <laughs> yeah, when I'm started realizing doing these that I think it's supposed to be a parody of IRA Damer. It does make the videos a little bit funnier. But the thing is like a lot of people not gonna know who IRA Damer is and they don't watch this and they'll be like, what the hell is this about? Like what's the story behind this? And like me, you're not gonna get the joke until eight is on your face. Jesus. God. I wish I knew who that bastard was who called here. Damn the Batman stole from this. What the fuck is this? God damn. I am going to get the fucking prankster that do this. This is worse than the time that little bag of dog shit on fire on my porch. <laughs> Motherfucker. How dare that asshole give me such a shitty game? Why couldn't he have given me something decent, such as Superman 64? That stupid dick shit. <laughs> There's also a sheet of paper in here. What is the Batman Nintendo game and a Hoover vacuum? Shut up my ass. Have been common. I guess I may have to do a little research to figure this out. It sucks. Oh great. It's probably the son of a bitch who gave me this package. It's I such am going shit. To his fucking ass. Radar tracked the Riddler as being located in this vicinity. Have you seen him? I didn't see anyone. 
and nothing odd happened lately. Well, there's that envelope I got today. What tin below? Why is he dressed like Where's Waldo? Read this fucking letter, Batman. This definitely came from Batman the or Darth Vader. Just look at all these or Dracula. Okay. What does the Batman Nintendo game and the Hoover vacuum shove up your ass have in common? They both no such shit. I guess there is only one way to solve this riddle. Stick okay. a Hoover up his ass? Here it is. Batman a video game. Oh, really? I thought this was Batman a VHS tape. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, never mind. I thought my on ass froze for a second. I guess it's just the shitty title screen. Well, first off, the Batman picture is pretty fucked up. Why is Batman missing an arm? I do not remember that in the movie. Now the game is flickering to beat hell. No wonder why video games have seizure warnings on them. Goddamn. I just pierced my pants. Put this game. Hey, watch it, Christopher. You didn't even start my game yet. It probably could sass. In this scene, Batman stops his car in the middle of the street. Then he jumps out. What an inconsiderate asshole, blocking the road like that. I hope that prick gets hit by a car. So you play as Blue Batman, like in the 1960s television series, and you go around punching the shit out of things. Well, he's more purple than this? blue. It says don't walk. So I am waiting, but the sign isn't changing. The signs <laughs> in this game work as good as they do in real life. Oh, fuck it. I look in the background. It says, Burr. Burr. Like what you say when you're cold. This must be some kind of a reference to Mr. Freeze. The guy who built this theater marquee must have been fucking drunk. The letters are all uneven and shit. <laughs> and look what happens when you stand still for a while. Batman busts some ass. That's just fucking gross. <laughs> yes, Christopher. Sometimes I am in a hurry. So occasionally, I get carryouts from White Castle. Goddamn Batman. I can relate to that. Anyways, the thing that really flips my shit in this game is that you have no fucking clue where you're supposed to go. There are all these different pathways, but half of them don't lead anywhere. And some you can't get over the walls. There could be some pops back there, but I can't fucking make it. So why did these asshole game designers make these useless areas? And you're not going to believe this shit. It's the Rat King, writ right off of TMNT. With the S. I have been walking for about 10 seconds in this direction. Why did they even build this walkway if it leads to no place? There should be a dead end sign hanging up. The enemies in this game are very fucked up. Why are these guys carrying bowling pins on their back? And they remind me exactly of the running terrorists who fighting Contra. This is just another thing they ripped off. This game is all about jumping and sticking to the walls. Am I supposed to be playing as Batman or fucking Spider-Man? Another thing that sucks bad Guano is how once you come into range of the enemies, they speed up. When you walk near an enemy in Super Mario Bros. 1, they do not start to run faster. It's fucking stupid. And why aren't there any special weapons in this game? Batman had no special powers like Superman or Spider-Man. So he had to design weapons to get the advantage against enemies. And he has but weapons. shit in this game. Hey, look. It's Ryu from Ninja Gaiden, the first game character crossover. He is as easy as fuck. I guess ninjas are pussies. Here is the first boss. He is fucked up when he dies. Holy shit. He is made out of fireworks. That's weird. In level 2, you basically go around doing more of the same shit. Oh my god. It's the fucking Predator. Did you really defeat him in one punch? Predator, but not Batman vs. Predator. That's not a bad idea, Christopher. Oh, wait a minute. That movie would probably suck my batarang. Never mind. And why the fuck is there all this acid dripping from the ceilings? They need to get Bob Vila up in this bitch. <laughs> One tip I can give you is to not fall in the acid. For some reason, it makes you lose health. Plus, it is very sticky, and you can hardly jump. For some God reason. Damn, I managed to jump out. What the fuck? Batman turns to dust when he dies. Who does he think he is? Dracula? Holy bad fuck Batman. God damn Christopher. What's next? I can't go out into the sunlight, or maybe I'll be afraid of crosses and garlic. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take any more of this shitty game. Oh stop being such a pussy. <laughs> this game probably isn't that bad. Okay. So B is punch, and A is to jump. 
with the ship. Why are these guys just walking off the platform into the electricity, killing themselves? Fuck me. I have to fight less people in real life. God damn. I'd rather let the penguin shove his opened umbrella up my ass. This game sucks shit. Wait a minute. Sucks shit. This game sucks shit. Why I just solved the riddle. There you what go. does the Batman in ES game and the Hoover vacuum shut up your ass have in common? When you hit the power button, they both start sucking shit. Holy shitty games, Batman, you saved the day. Wait a minute, what's that sound? <laughs> that fucking Riddler has just told his last riddle. No, no, wait. What are you doing? <laughs> wait, Christopher, don't shoot him. This is a golf course? You stupid motherfucker. Don't you ever watch my show. You're only supposed to capture the villain so that he can escape from prison in a future episode. Whoops, my bad. IGSRJ. <laughs> 2008, damn. That's a long time ago. 18... Uh, 14 years ago, like I said, I mean, I didn't see this guy back in the day, like, I didn't watch his videos, didn't even hear about him back in the day, like I said, apparently he made some videos which got a lot of views, and then at one point disappeared for like, two years, did a couple of videos and disappeared like five years, and then more so, I just... Just how it is, so. I guess maybe he saw the Irate Gamer review some good games, but he called them bad. Did a terrible job, so this guy's like, let me do a couple parody videos of that. Which I did maybe at the time, when that was going on, people understood more. But nowadays, I wonder how many people would get the joke. I don't know if people say it's obvious, but... Have you seen a lot of people nowadays and how they do stuff? There's, there's nothing obvious. I mean, this is back 2008, but still, there's nothing obvious about it. But then there are good trolls like Chad Warden. It's a bitches. It's a bitches. It's Chad Warden. Fuck the week. I'm gonna play with old Dildo. You ballin'. You ballin'. It's Chad Warden, bitches. Beaches. Sure, I don't know how many people remember him. Like, that was a funny one. Those were funny videos. Because the guy was just being a troll and just making, you know, not being serious about it. He was just playing up a character. Now, a lot of people fell for it. But, either way, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks once again, Total Meltdown 2. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.